Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our third set of pulleys. This is a little bit more complicated, at least a little bit more complicated looking. The approach is exactly the same. What we're trying to do here is find the amount of force required to hold up the weight or to pull the weight up. Now, of course, if you pull the weight up at a constant speed, the amount of force required is exactly the same as holding it in place. Now, let me see, here's my black pen. All right, so we start over here. Let's draw a free body diagram on this portion of the first pulley set and you can see that there's a hundred newtons of force pulling down two ropes pulling up so those two must add up to a hundred pounds so these are the two ropes that are upholding the weight and since it's the same rope going around the same pulley that means by the rules of pulleys that the tension here must be equal to the tension there that must add up to a hundred newtons so therefore it is 50 newtons on this side and 50 newtons on this side now, if we draw a second free body diagram around this part of the pulley set right here, notice that the force pulling down here, which is 50 newtons, must equal the, the sum of the two forces up there pulling up. And since it's the same rope going around this pulley, the force here, the tension here, must be the same as the tension there. They must add up to 50 newtons, which means we're going to have 25 newtons on this rope and 25 newtons on that rope and of course since this rope goes around this pulley the force here or the tension here must be equal to the tension there this must also be 25 newtons which means the force required to hold up the weight here uh, the 100 newton weight here is 25 newtons or that's also the amount of force to pull up this weight right here at a constant speed upward again since there's a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage to lift this up 1 meter you'll have to pull down on this 4 meters Okay, looking at the second set, assuming that this is a bracket right here, suspending the 100 newton weight on those two pulleys, we can assume that it'll be 50 newtons of force on each one. So we can say 50 newtons over here and 50 newtons over there. Now, if you draw a free body diagram, you can do draw one over here or you can draw one over here. You get the exact same result. Notice that in each case, the 50 newtons pulling down is being upheld by the two strings over here and the two strings over there which means that those two together must add up to 20 uh, must add up to 50 newtons and these two must add up to 50 newtons and since both of these go around the same pulley that means the tension here must equal the tension there and both of those go around the same pulley that means the tension here must equal the tension there that means all of them will be equal to 25 newtons so 25 newtons for this one 25 newtons for that one 25 newtons for this one and 25 newtons for this one. It also makes sense because just as the tensions on both sides here must be the same, the tensions on both sides there must be the same, which also means that the tension over here must be the same on both sides, which means we have 25 newtons over here, which means we need a force of 25 newtons to hold up this weight or to pull it upward at a constant speed. Again, a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage. Going to the third system right here, again we can draw a free body diagram. So you can see here that this weight of 100 newtons is being upheld by those three strings over here, over there, and over there. Notice that the tension on this string must be the same on both sides because it is the same string going around this pulley and the tension here must equal to the tension there because that string is going around the pulley over here which means all the tensions are equal to each other. They all add up to 100 newtons which means 33 newtons for each one. So 33 newtons for this, 33 newtons for this one, and 33 newtons for this one. And since this string goes around this pulley, the tension here must equal the tension there, 33 newtons on this side, which means the force required to hold this up against gravity or to pull it up at a constant speed is 33 newtons, a three to one advantage. One more thing now, let's try to find the force that pulls down from the ceiling on these three strings. Well, if this is 50 newtons here, that means we need a 50 newton force over there. Over here, we need a 25 newton force. And over here, if this is 25 newtons and that's 25 newtons together, that's 50 newtons. So we need a 50 newton force over there, a total of 125 newtons to hold up the 100 newton weight. Coming over here, you can see that these two together add up to 50 newtons and that is being held up by the single string so that's 50 newtons over here we have the same situation over here 50 newtons and here we have a 25 newton force so the total force on the ceiling is 125 newtons to uphold 100 newton weight 
Finally, coming over here, you can see we have 33 newtons and 33 newtons together add up to 66, so let's run it off to 67 because this is really 33 and a third newtons, so 67 newtons, and here we have 33 newtons and 33 newtons, again, 67 newtons, so you can see that you have a force of 133 newtons pulling down from the ceiling to uphold a weight of 100 newtons here. And that's how we figure that out.